let's talk about genetic drift. So first of all, what is genetic drift? Genetic drift is a change in how often individuals with a particular feature appear over time. It's a random process uh, unless a particular feature has an advantage over another, which we'll see later. So in this example, we're going to be looking at basketballs and beach balls. So these are both um, balls and uh, each one has a different feature so as you can see the basketball is orange with uh, black lines and the beach ball is white with uh, orange and red spots so it will be like if these balls are in a bag and somebody puts their hand in and grabs one at random without looking at it okay so here we're looking at our population of 20 balls we start off with 10% being basketball 10 being baskets, basketball and 10 being beach balls. That's 50% for each one. And that's our first generation. Now if we can allow for the second generation, we see a change to 12 basketballs and 8 beach balls. And then the third generation, maybe 11 basketballs and 9 beach balls. Keep on going like this. See, it, it stayed the same there. We can keep on going like this uh, and see how the number of individuals uh, with each trait changes over time. Now 16 generations later we can see that we have 12 basketballs and 8 beach balls. Now biologists use this data to plot graphs to map out how the number of uh, individuals with a trait has changed over time. So down here we can see the number of generations and over here we can see the percent of individuals with a given trait. And here we have the traits basketball and beach balls. So as you can see start off with just half and half and then the graph sort of goes up and down randomly uh, depending on each year and what traits are beneficial. Now this is genetic fixation. This is when uh, all the individuals of a population have a certain trait. So for example, birds with long beaks. Birds with long beaks may be better at getting food, so birds with shorter beaks may eventually die out, and birds with longer beaks will eventually uh, take over the entire population. So here, 100% of the population is basketballs, and 0% are beach balls. And that's going to be all for uh, this presentation on genetic drift.